All right, welcome, 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 everyone. Questine here with Total War Warhammer Free Immortal Empires. I'm going to be playing Ram the Punch on Legendary. Uh, I'm gonna have all of these things enabled, and we are gonna go for it. Now, Grom has an interesting campaign in that he is one of the strongest Legendary Lords in the game. I, in fact, I'd probably argue he... As a lord, per se, I guess, uh, he could be argued, because of his unique mechanics, that he is probably THE strongest legendary lord in the entire game. Although Warriors of Chaos are just a better faction than Greenskins right now, so, you know, Archeon wins that race, but... Individually, like, yeah, Grom beats the shit out of everyone else. Because, you gotta understand, the Greenskins are one of the most powerful factions in the game in general, at the moment, due to their war mechanics, their economy, units, you name it. And, and here's the thing, Grom takes that to a whole new level, because he starts with, because he has his cauldron, and that cauldron is going to give you a significant advantage in growth and everything you can name it. So Grom, uh, he has leadership when fighting against elves, physical resistance for goblin units, and upkeep for chariot and pump wagon units. Now, that upkeep is useless because you're going to end up fighting a significant benefit, a uh, significant amount of uh, a, a smaller settlement battle, so, or settlement battles in general, so you don't really benefit from that that much. Now, first thing I want to do over here is try every turn that I go through this campaign I'm going to try and get some kind of non-aggression agreement the reason is and this is the problem that I'm just gonna highlight with the fog of war so you start here in Paravon right in the massive oracle you have Aquitaine uh, you have Bordelot and you have Bastan and you can wipe Paravon um, Bardolo and Bastan very very quickly and that gives you you start with the one province you can get four within the first few turns of the campaign obviously I'm gonna recruit the, uh, get the Wa, get Goblin Gobos um, and yeah get a bunch of this stuff uh, very quickly and we're gonna want to get no complaining and sharper stab us as well but not necessarily instantly. So I have an army of river trolls, snarling pump wagons, stone trolls, goblin rock lobbers, and orc archer boys. We're gonna take this army and defeat this initial Bretonian army that stands our way. Although you can auth resolve it, it isn't recommended that you do so. The reason is that if you do auth resolve it, you are not going to get the same kind of rewards and you're also going to take significantly higher casualties. Now, they do have some questing knights, if I'm not. No, that's just knights of the realms. Whatever. If they had questing knights, I would be a bit concerned, really. Man, this is an easy army. Pyrrhic victory, my ass. And I do start with a pretty solid enough army, and I think he can get an ability to summon a rogue idol very quickly as well, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway. So we are going to position ourselves like this. And let's just get going. So who do I want to shoot? Let's shoot those Knights of the Realms with our first volley. Alright. Wait, can they just genuinely dodge that? Are the... Are these guys so bad that they can genuinely dodge that? No, they can't consistently. They're just gonna get wiped out very quickly. I mean, that's great. Keep in mind, am ammunition is gonna be an issue, so let me just take out those yeomans. Alright, let's get Grom. Alright. Wow. 
and against single unit let's use it on him yeah strong my ass Gonna send those uh, those wildlings, and there, take my hero and deal with that. Now, keep in mind the goal of this specific battle isn't just to win; it's to win in such a de decisive manner. Uh, let's get the wall going. That I get better rewards for it. Get ready to war. Now, this is going to be a common theme for Bretonia, I think. Them just getting wiped out. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to kill him there because he's on, on a whole. Alright, so only lost 61 units, killed 400, the army this is destroyed. If I had fought this, I probably would have lost half my army or something like that. Now, here's a real thing. Here's a real kicker when you're playing as Grom. Because it's, it, it's not necessarily something you think will have an enormous consequence, but it absolutely does for an early, early game. His global recruitment of every goblin unit uh, is reduced. Right? So if i start globally recruiting or let's say i get a lord let's see what options i have if i can get a hero no i don't sadly have one that would reduce the amount all right let's go with him but the crucial aspect here is that i get global recruitment benefit to goblins which means that instead of taking two turns it takes one turn for um, to globally recruit uh, the basic goblin unit. Now that's an enormously substantial benefit early on in a campaign. Why, you might ask? Well, because it means that you can get armies very quickly. Now obviously initial coin on the first few turns may be a bit of an issue. But once you start getting uh, getting the ball rolling, you get you start getting massive armies, and no run. one's really gonna be able to Armored stop you. And they will try. <laughs> this is the reason I've chosen this particular campaign. It's not the hardest campaign, but you do have a lot of enemies to fight because you start in Bretonia. Ne close enough to the high elves that yes they are going to be an issue um and clo and on the border with the empire literally your initial province that you're going to conquer is going to border helmgard so reichland is almost certainly going to declare war on you that's by the way something that i'll have to deal with i think i'll take helmgard for myself and fortify it before dealing with the two bretonian minor factions um, by fortifying Helmgard, I'll put myself in a substantially better position to deal with Karl Franz when he shows up, right? And I'll probably have to station an entire army there to keep him under control. Now, if there is any issue with Grom's campaign, it's as follows. 
you don't really have access to good units for taking settlements early on I mean yeah you have the goblin archers sure but the goblin archers are just not necessarily going to cut it so one of the problem like if you're playing on on this campaign on you can play this campaign on legendary with a low battle difficulty and you'll certainly curb stop the your foes the problem is when you start playing on a high battle difficulty because then you have to get start getting creative in terms of your battle tactics not uh, when sieging in open field it's not the problem but in in sieges it most certainly will be an issue all right so let's send these goblins they're not really the units i care about and we're gonna use spear leech and some units Now we have peasant mobs and we have men at arms as well over there. I have torque archers doing their thing. Now the peasant mobs are gonna break. Forcing them. Okay, Grom goes. They are absolutely getting uh, obliterated right here. Well, trolls are not exactly the most pleasant units to have to deal with, I gotta say. Alright, let's target those peasant bowmen. More units breaking. Let's see if they all break now. No. All right, they're they're all broken. That's it. Now the fact Grom is on a chariot does cause certain issues in battle. In these kind of settlement battles, well, the walled settlement battles, that's going to be my issue. At least early on, right? But give me a rogue guide, I'll to smash down the walls, no problem. <laughs> What I really need are orcs in these armies, and I think I'm going to... Hmm, that is an interesting question. Should I get Nasty Skulkers? Should I not get Nasty Skulkers? It is an interesting question. Alright, so over here I am going to sack it. And then I'm going to occupy it. Dismiss this building, because I will have excellent growth right now. Or I should have, but apparently I got troll meat instead. Follow black. Oh yeah, so I'll get that. All right, I don't have enough scrap anyway. So get the inspiring presence, and for her, get replenished troops. That's the crazy thing. He starts with an army capable of replenishing troops very quickly. Order. Now, no one now if there is any issue with Grom is that everyone hates him. 
like oh, genuinely I'm not even joking like his neighbors despise him like all of them but I do kind of wonder what's with that diversion really is it because I'm a green skin I guess it is because I'm green skin now the fact you have a minus a hundred aversion right from the start means yeah you are gonna have a lot of wars from from the very start and you're not in some isolated position like Rimgor or Skarsenik. You are right in the thick of it. That, as you might imagine, is gonna have some complications. Alright, so next up Paravon. I could decide not to take it. If you want to be a bit clever, if you will, about this entire situation, you could decide not to take the uh, the capital there, but the chances of you not encountering the Reichland are pretty low. Because that's one of those things. Like, If you could avoid encountering the Reichland, you would find yourself uh, in a better position. Now... Uh, oh yeah, that's the sweet one. Rogue Idol, turn one. <laughs> that is insane. You gotta admit that is absolutely bananas. So let's get more goblins. And over here get more orcs as well. That said, I am going to have to fight the Wood Elves, am I not? I do believe one of the best options, one of the best things you can do at this stage is actually tank Helmgar, because Reichland is not going to have an army, I hope, um, defending it. If Carl Franz moves an army there and, you know, it's not doable, then yeah, sure, but uh, I got a rogue idol, my dude. I don't much give a shit what you have. <laughs> Alright, Paravon. A trebuchet, some archers, you, you name it. Let's get some reinforcements. He's gonna need them. Now this tells me it's a valiant defeat. I'm, I'm gonna call bullshit on that. Now, undeniably so, it is gonna be a problem breaking through the walls. Um, but the only units they've recruited, like, they do have a pretty solid garrison here, but the only units they've actually recruited are yeomans. <laughs> it was funny, um, I was playing this campaign earlier uh, on my own, you know, preparation and all that, and Leon Leoncor showed up with an army of yeomans, and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Think about which wall do I want to assault, which is a good option. Well, they all feel pretty similar, but let me check to see where. And they have a lot of barricades there. We're gonna install them. Well, uh, I mean, yeah, my starting position is probably a good one. Alright, let me position We're these archers close. I'm going to have to break down the gate. There's simply no way around it. 
bad boys. And we're gonna move these guys closer. Oh, and I made a mistake. Let me just position. Now I don't really mind the fact that they are gonna arrive in like six minutes. I could take that down. Let's uh. Yeah, let me just use this. Ah, the wondrous situation. Come on, lads. Run, boys. Go, go, go. I'm going to try and target that. So they are broken. Shoot at those mounted yeoman. Now the trolls are going to take some damage here. There's no way around that. Yes, the trolls are gonna break because they're trolls. They have got crap leadership. This is it. Let's try taking out those skill traditions, really. I'll be honest, I'm a bit surprised at how well I'm doing so far in this uh, in this particular battle. Let me try and uh, get that going there. Now hopefully I don't lose these trolls. They are really good units and I will need them for more our stuff. Yeah, those knights aren't are gonna be a problem. And my our, our reinforcements are going to be showing up just in a moment now. And there is the Anthony Lord. Gonna 
Hey there, breaking. Just gonna speed up. Uh, and reinforcements gonna be arriving very shortly. Now the problem is I can't really shoot those archers, Sally. Enough. There we go. There's my help. Send this big boy into the fray and get the boys. It's the boys we be fighting. There we go. A lot fewer casualties than I anticipated, really. I, I did expect to win, don't get me wrong on this. But not quite like this. Well, those trolls are pretty damn strong. They are the ones that affect the most of the casual. And that's one of the things to know about Chaos as well, because they do have Chaos Troll. They are superb early game units. Their one problem is, of course, leadership, but in terms of like a frontline unit, yeah, you can't really do wrong with trolls, as I've just demonstrated. All right, so I am going to sack it, and hopefully we will have. Yep. Sacked it. Now we can see that Helmgard is there. Now I'm likely now I'm gonna need you know need to I take Montfort. Now, if you're wondering why I'm giving so many units there, it's because I want to recruit. Oh, and it's one more, actually, that I should give. I mean, I could recruit more. Hmm. Good question. How much do I want to give? This is an interesting one. So obviously I can recruit some more units. Now, you get the green spores and you get the ocean clams. You just do this once and it gives you gold. Crucially, it gives you scrap as well. Like this is how Grom rolls. Take a growth and yeah, let's let's just get the gobos for her. More in terms of spirit, spirit leech. I could do some global recruitment, though it would be double the cost. The thing is, I do need it. There's no mincing wards on this. Let's get inspiring bonus. And over here, get 
camp, uh, camp, uh, camp Ruckus. Now I'm gonna be very close to a Wa here. And I'm at 110 scrap. I could use the scrap to cast that again, but I don't really need the money right now. It is kind of cap uh, what I can do. Although the money may be useful from a different perspective. So he... Uh, okay, that is a good question, which I do with him. I could declare war on Aquitaine Barlow with him Protect while I take best on. Or I could just have him follow Grom around, just combine the two forces together. Hmm, do I want to separate them? Well, no. The reason I'm not going to do it is not because I don't believe that I could take Aquitaine on my own. It's not that, actually. The problem is, even if I take Aquitaine, I'm just kind of shooting myself in the foot right now. Because the more territory you gain, the more armies you gain, the more your strength rank ranking is going to go and then the strategic threat diplomatic uh, issue is going to creep in i mean it's already going to start it's already probably start creeping in because this is a lot of troops already the No, I've given up the Tikal a few times. Yep. Stop and I have. Kid. Why bother? Bravo, Another great and Remember glorious night. battle where there is a fucking shit. So this is gonna be able to be upgraded next turn. Do you take me for a child? That means better units. Gonna have to fight this. If there is an issue that I do have with legendary, it is the fact that you do have to fight a hell of a lot of battles on your own. And there is no middle ground around it. There is no avoiding it. Really. If you play on Legendary with very hard battle, it really is the battle difficulty in this case. If you do play... So anyway, one of the things I've actually been doing, and I'm not ashamed to admit it, um, one of the things I've been doing to actually see a lot of the campaigns is I've been playing on legendary campaign difficulty, but easy battle difficulty. And the AI doesn't behave differently, which is a bit of a problem for them when they attack me and they stand no fucking chance in winning. But by and large, you do get to see the campaigns, you do get to see the behavior. At least that's what I've personally noticed. Now, are there moments where you're like, yeah, I shouldn't really be able to win that? Yeah, sure, they do happen, but not quite as often as you might think. And the reason not quite as often is there's a metric shit ton of cheese in this game. You know what the problem with difficulty in Warhammer Free Immortal Empires is? It's not that the difficulty is so broken. At least not in the early game. I'm going to attack through here and... um. Well, you know what, maybe I shouldn't wait for my reinforcements, because that is a lot of archers. Um, you know what the problem with difficulty is? Creative Assembly has spent years and years and years and years, ever since Shogun 2 came out, uh, and Legendary with it, I believe it was Shogun 2 that introduced Legendary, if I'm not wrong. Um, but ever since Shogun 2, They've pushed 
the player base down the line of, of playing on, uh, getting used to the idea of bush bullshit difficulty, right? Oh, did I not use the item? Okay, I, I mean, I guess I have it, I just haven't uh, used it. Uh, I guess, like, I need to get that bloody rogue idol. Because <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm fighting a siege battle and I could get the rogue idol. Wouldn't that be damned amazing? Because a rogue idol would solve a lot of your military problems. That is a barricade, that is going to be a bit of an issue. Well. Yeah, I mean, you know what? They did get get smarter. Do you know when they got smarter? They got smarter with Troy. Now, I know Troy is not necessarily a game people are going to have a really good opinion of for a large number of reasons, but do you know what they did very well in Troy? They did the campaign difficulty well. Not the campaign, the difficulty of it. Like, playing a legendary there, it didn't feel like cheap. It felt like, oh, I have a massive economy. I have a mass... I can get a lot of territory, diplomacy matters, etc, etc. Um, you would encounter late game massive powerful armies, but it's like, yeah, that's kind of expected, right? Okay. Okay, so we got the archers, let's go get them. Take that down, because I just want to get these boys for fighting. Like you know what the problem is for me in siege bat and these minor settlement battles. My problem in general actually with a lot of Total War battles is they feel inconsequential because they really are. That's the sad part I guess. You have these battles with a lot of detail to them. What's in that heroine? And it's like you don't give a shit. Because you know you're gonna win or lose in, in a predetermined manner, if that makes sense. Right, let's smash that barricade. Gonna get closer there. Feels so stupid to shoot at the wooden barricade. I mean, what is it made of paper? <laughs> yeah, not to find the barricade system. I might lose these guys if I'm not careful. Let's actually just shoot these guys in the back.
Helmless. More of them incoming peasant mob. They're broken there. Hit their leadership over there. Cause them to flee. Oh, there's more. I don't love how Bertonia has like trebuchets in every one of their damn settlements so far. Alright, finally the army losses kicked in. Now here's the thing, you do actually end up killing more of the enemy by fighting these manu uh, manually so you get more experience. Again, another battle that if I had fought manually, I would have lost hundreds and hundreds of men. So yeah. And it's not like I'm doing anything exceptional over here. <laughs> oh, these guys really killed a lot. Holy shit, they went to town. I think they killed the most. Oh no, Grom killed the most. Holy fuck. Well, he did have that special ability. Now, I am not going to do anything right now. I think I just defeat, I just smashed Bastan's army. Alright, a new ingredient. Let me know game when the hag shows up, because I kind of want her. I can't move further. Gonna give him the gobbos. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna recruit some goblin Big units for him. And nothing for him. Say what you must, but know you play a dangerous game, and I am no pawn. <laughs> Dad. Yeah, just free units for him. Farm Kemmler, awesome trait. What does that awesome trait get? Tell you what, I might just do that. But it's gonna take a while. First off, I'm likely going to have to deal with Karak Ziffen on my own. Hey.
<laughs> this gets crazier and crazier the more you play it. Oh, by all means, rush out. Get smacked in the face. Alright, Hag Merchant over there. I'm going to upgrade this and I am going to get. Well, you know, I could get. Uh... Yeah. The tribe's ready! Alright, over there. We're gonna get go faster, <laughs> uh, and then I'm gonna work for it, no complaining after I get a uh, sharper stab. Us. But right now, uh, still got some decent amount of gold. I don't need to worry about it just Thou yet. Widest. Huh? For the well, the dwarves are kind of in a crappy what position, really. Bad job for the Gobo King. And. This army this world or the other. Good defeat. My minions are restless. This had better be important. Alright, he only starts a war with Artois though. Huh. Karak Zephan would be a sweet deal, I gotta admit. I'll worry about Kemler later. For now I would actually Green hope skin. to get some kind of deal with him. The problem is I have I'll, I'll have so many enemies soon enough. Like once I really get going here with 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 these regions. Like if you look at the situation, right? Once I take this region, and once I deal with Carcassonne, things are gonna get really nasty for me. Now, hmm, what would be a better thing? Because I would be dealing with the garrison anyway. Yeah, let's just go for it. I think I prefer dealing with that here. Because I can also intercept their reinforcements in the open field and smash them. Now, one of the things to say is that I'm going to sack the settlement um, and then give it to Kemler. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want him to be friendly. So they're gonna spawn over yonder. Now guess what I'm going to do? We're gonna set up a kill zone, gentlemen. A real proper killing fields. Someone that um, has cash chance a hundred percent, huh? Got plenty of time. Well, let's wait for it. Wheels. 
Is the opportunity provided by the rogue idol to hit them really hard there? This is like getting a terracotta sentinel on turn fucking one as cafe. Like how the fuck would you ever lose a battle early game when you have this? Sure. It despawns, okay. But there's just zero chance for you to ever lose a battle with this. Even if it doesn't last, last that long. That is a bit of an issue. Now, as far as I see it here, they've done their job. Time to reposition my army. Or rather, the range portion of my army. Right, he should break in just a moment. And keep in mind, there is a, another side to this. I've d dealt significant army losses to them, so they should break. Pretty easily there. Move these guys forward. The trolls have healed up or will heal up soon. And I'm going to move some green skins on the side here. While the trolls prepare for a full blown melee assault. Yep, there we go. There's the army losses kicking in. The AI is much easier to defeat in a settlement by a battle, by the way. Especially in this kind of situation where they've got reinforcements coming in. Kill as many of them as you can, Grom.
Bear in mind that the law has not been declared yet. <laughs> when it does to get declared, then I suddenly double the size of every single army that I have. Oof, things are gonna get sweet. Though right now it is just a calm before the storm. And the storm is coming. With steel, faith, and gunpowder. Or faith, steel, and gunpowder. Alright, that's 2.5k. Okay. Meet loots and glory. Fuck. Drum the pump. I always distrust orcs that come to barter when they should be here to kill. We definitely. Drum the pump. All right, I'm gonna send them in that stance. Gonna get the unit of goblins, global recruitment. And I am still only level 10, though I am getting closer. Let's get Horrid Mass. Upgrade there. The dwarves may have their army, but it doesn't matter really that much. Yeah, let's get some some boys. We have discovered the new gradient. Me. Yeah, I didn't recruit them for your for units. I recruited them so I could get that challenge there. I'm actually just gonna disband them. So Baston is next, and if I can take it with that army there. Um, then my main army can go take Helmgart and fortify it. Let's go with the tribute, get that control going. In this case, I'm just going to have to resolve it. Start the war. Just CBA sometimes with these battles, really. I'll crush them all. That gives me scrap. Let's go for the cooking challenge. Adult senses even do. Don't want to see no soggy anyway. My minions are restless. I am a hit too. No. Me. It is not mostly grows. I can tell. It is an expensive affair, but I can't really afford fighting this on right last. now. You call? Yeah. Well, I could, but <laughs> I don't want to. And besides, I can afford it. Corpulent Majesty! That would do, boys. We'll have a day's gifts for supper! There's 
It is a bit crazy how much money you earn from looting settlements. Now here's what I'm going to do. You are not welcome in my court, yet here you are. Friend or foe, we will see. I'm not going to wait for Carl Franz to declare war on me. <laughs> Told you we'd win, boys. Faster than anyone. Orc Slayer. Over there. Let's get Aura of the Drenite. Talk, say me to battle. And get more units there. <laughs> Disband him. Now I'm still not facing the swarm of enemies that I do expect to eventually deal with. So we can get disciplined. Not doing it. The immensity. Now Helmgarth is only level one. Good. Could that resolve it? Hmm. Another day, another try. Got it? Can I take more? No, I would certainly take fewer casualties. Fuck it. Let's do it. I'm gonna use the rogue idol to uh, to bring uh, bring down the walls. And yeah, you know, smash them down. Now those crossbows are gonna be dangerous, but at the same time, I have more range units than they do. My range units pack a heck of a hell of a punch. One of the things I do want to do with the goblins is get the upgrade for armor piercing on them. The ammo would be nice, but I think I need that extra punch more, more ammo. Okay. So the trolls can uh, so the trolls and uh, all of the trolls will go for the main gate. Um, we're going to position the catapult. Okay. And these boys will go in there. I'll summon the rogue idol when it might go closer to the walls. Let's go for it. Those are spearmen without shields. That should be good enough. I was silently reminded of why exactly. Can't they take down the walls? Shit. I'd be able to. Well, okay. But it, uh. I just remembered badly. All right, the gate is broken anyway. Let's move. Go, go, go. Gonna send the chariots in. Well, since the gate is broken, let's go with the boys in. Path is open. Some of these guys closer here. Um. <laughs> we 
Should have used it. Beyond the walls, though. But yeah, it is what it is. Spilt milk won't help. I'm gonna go up there and see if I can take him in the in the back. Alright, since they can apparently shoot from there, I'm just gonna move them inside. Crossbowmen doing their thing yeah. there. Running. The army losses just start kicking in. Okay. They've certainly lost a great deal of units there. Top is ready. Let's fight. Morgan, Morgan, Spurning. No stopping. Slice. Don't underestimate the power of the wall. And that's over. Yeah, I'll worry about Kemmler when I can afford to deal with him. Like, there will be a rotation of lords just dealing with Kemmler. But later on, like right now, I have to contain the Reichland, have to contain the Wood Elves, have to get the armies, the economy, etc., etc. It could be an advantage going for Kemmler earlier on, but it's also something that I think is more important later on. Right now, maneuverability and moving around the map is more important for me. I, if you want a uh, simple idea how to play Legendary, take as much as possible early on, as quickly as possible. That would be the goal. Lovely, lovely Losing loot. Occupied. All right, the wall target has been satisfied. Now, Carl Franz is likely going to descend on me. That's fine. Mark wants me. Our world's gonna be drums. Now, he's level 11. If Carl Franz does show up with a full stack of troops, that's all the better for me. I get some growth. Control doesn't matter, forts don't have public order.
Now here's a reality check. Do I go after Carl Franz? Or do I set a nice ambush here in Helmgard and hope to draw him in so I can annihilate him? And then sack his helmet. That is the question there. Ultimately, I think I'm just gonna se uh, settle for the ambush. Watch Grom triumph. Expand one of these units. Corpulent Majesty. Best idea yet. Alright, so that's gonna help me out there. Pass the time. I'll crush them all. I'm gonna leave Baston over there. Well, let's see if this pays off. Do Even if it does, I'm... It will be an interesting fight. And he does have a strong enough army, ambush or not. Let's see if we succeed. No. Nothing you can say is gonna save ya! There is the kicker. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. I can't leave Carl friends over here. Hmm. If I assault that settlement. Now Orion is going to be an annoying bastard. I'm going to cancel that because he's going to just wipe it out. I was rather hoping that wouldn't happen. So I'm going to ob obliterate his reinforcement here and then deal with him. And yes, I will deal with him. After all, ultimately I do have an entire fucking wall army at my disposal. And I'm going to dispose of them, so to speak. I think that's fine. So I'm going to position myself in a, in a state of affairs where I can really intercept that army. Though I won't really need too many units to deal with that. There. Only a handful of units, so I think if I do this while well, these guys do go to work over here, I think that will be more than sufficient. As for these guys, yeah, they're gonna help out, but they're not... Um, Gonna 
kill him. Let's do this. Trolling. Trolling. Let's scrap. I'm gonna move the uh, catapult closer. Well, at least I know they're gonna come over that bridge. I think I'm gonna move the reinforcements that also come over there. Yep. Just so I have them closer. Vision, though I don't want to be lured into that trap, and yes, it is a trap. Yeah. Oof, you gotta love the damage they do. Keep moving forward. Just gotta be careful, Carl friends. Now my goal isn't to take this element. I don't want to reveal myself to too many factions. But uh, my goal, if you will, is to destroy Carl Franz's army. Take out his mortars, take out his Reichsguard, all that stuff. Take him out. And that will leave the Empire vulnerable to Festus and Kazrak. I've actually seen in a Grom campaign Kazrak wiping out the Empire. <laughs> Not joking. One of the weakest fucking factions that when it's played by the AI wipes out the Empire because I destroyed its armies with, uh, with my units. Alright, so we get the great swords moving there. Now, I'm going to send this unit to take that point. Keep in mind, I still have that goddamn road guy, though. Oh, here they come. They're gonna hurt if they impact my goblins. Oh, 
Take out the towers there. Enforcements have arrived. Send them in. Going. Big boss. Time for slaughtering. Boys. What is the concern? I don't know how long they're gonna last there. Sifted 
Okay, I need to try and kill a Carl Franz here so he doesn't gain a level. Because if he manages to escape, even though his army is going to be completely obliterated, he is going to level, I believe. If I kill him, by the way, I win the battle. So, <laughs> under the reason. Because the army losses will be great enough that... Uh, uh, they'll... Forced issue. We had a great time. Run, boys. Oh, Carl Franz is killed. Victory. And the first major Imperial settlement is sacked. Not the uh, border fortress, an actual settlement. So that was their garrison. That was his entire army, more or less. I don't think he has any other. I'm going to sack it and get the fuck out. I've done the damage I needed to do here. That was the goal, right? This destroy the imperial army so helmgard gets some turns to replenish the garrison if they attack after this i can always get an army in montfort if they attack helmgard yeah they can take it back short but it's like it's gonna cause casualties it's not an easy fortress to take and the eye is really bad at it besides with all the, these units dead the one thing to be said here is that there is no easy replenishment for the Imperial forces. Grom's done enough. Time for a snack. Okay. Now we get leadership for goblins, growth all provinces. Um magic drop chance and income from post battle loot. Roll over. Hit points, of course, and looter. For her, life leeching is already unlocked. Let's get dodge gra uh, grazer. And for him, bloody blade, stalker for the campaign, and precise. I'll get. <laughs> it is funny though that they call it precise when really. The talent for melee attack would be the one that would do that. This is how Grom is incredibly potent. That's how you secure your front line. Now, I know the Wood Elf Prick is gonna 
sack my settlement, maybe even raise it to the ground. If he raises it to the ground, I'll deal with it, but I would much rather if he just sacked it. Or if he could fuck off, <laughs> genuinely. It's like, could we not do this? If I fight, there is no way to win this, I'm afraid. Oh, she can have the settlement as far as I see it. I'm gonna go for uh, Bartolo. Sacking those settlements will give me a great deal of coin. Hell, I gain coin from just having scrap. Oh, that is a sweet. A quest has been issued, mighty lord. Sweet, sweet, sweet target. Well, oh, there are some Doom Divers over there. Sheen wagging with the shit. He's been hiding out here, bragging about how big he is. All just rumors. He's nothing. Look at his stupid ass. He's trying to make himself look bigger. You'll be even shorter once I cut him down to size and take back my axe. The lad's been saying they've seen some other gobbo skulking round here too. Best keep our eyes open. Guzzler's gonna get guzzled. There's only one king of the gobbos, and that's me. Not a problem. Hooray, we get going.
on its way! for more! Daddy! Rob the porch! The biggest war boss! Let's scrap! Goblins! Rivet Row! Killer! Let's fight! Killer! 
Well, they were quite able to do a lot of damage over there to me. Oh, I really don't want to lose that. Here we go. Probably should have done it later. Victory is a victory, though. But yeah, if I had more trolls as well as better archers like Night Goblin Fanatics, or Night Goblin Archer, sorry, um, that would have been a lot easier. <laughs> Shift Grom. Talk 
Save me to battle. <laughs> Only the Grail can. Darkness. This action. Sectra the Imperishable. <laughs> oh, crush them all! So we'd win, boys. Mm. <laughs> Rooms or spores? Well, let's see. I need to check the recipe list. For that one. Ah, hell pepper shroom, okay. Which I just don't have. Alright, let's see which faction will uh, settle over there. Because they're the next target. So the Drakenhof Conclave. There he is. One of the bigger problems I'm actually going to have to deal with with elves. See, I don't really have the army for it. Um, hmm, interesting. Yeah, if there is any army you want to have to resolve against when you have something like this, it is the Wood Elves. They'll just shoot you to pieces if you try and fight them manually. Don't send me to battle. 
Let's put them in that stance. And get... Eh, well... Bonus versus large. It's only high... El well, elven units actually in general. Her. For him, more elusive, just so he doesn't get smacked. I hunt. What? Only the Grail companions of old could. Oh man, the people despise me. It's like. They want to spit in my face. Well, I am rank one. And look, as long as I keep Grom alive and his army alive, I'll, I'll be fine. Quite very much so. In fact, I think I'm going to recruit another army. Sounds a bit exaggerated, doesn't it? All the same. Because I can't afford it. I'm not going to go crazy on recruitment, to be clear. But I am going to start working on another army. to fucking run away. Alright, Grom's gonna have to go north. For him, uh, get Blade Master, and over here get the Salamon to level three. They can lay siege, but I don't believe they have the necessary equipment to take it. Is quite an army, but not enough, I think. Or maybe it is because I don't have any ranged units. That's why I do have towers, even if it's going to take a while for them to do anything. So I think I'm going to sacrifice some goblin units to hold the walls, while the rest of my army will event will hold the. Uh, well, all day in their courtyard. Seems like a legit plan. There's some pretty good tower positions inside the inner courtyard there. We I'd also try... All these 
guys here. One unit here. One unit here. We've done some damage, time to fall back. It's gonna take them a while to get further. Position these guys here. Goblins here. Orc, uh, orc boys will react dependent on who needs it.
Right, they'll win that, but uh, at a significant cost. I just don't have the forces to commit to defend against the Empire properly. Because I've got too many shit, too much shit to deal with. I need to go into Alpha Lorne, Lauren and burn it to the damn ground. Or at least Orion settlement. Sack it, occupy it, raise it. Dishonor me. I'll crush them all. this one. Well, if Kemler declares war against me, well, it's going to be a great opportunity to let me get Deadly Blade. Just a good opportunity to Peace Bits. See what she means by Beast Bits. Orange and stunty ale. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa. 
It's a get better than that. I'll probably have to station an entire army in Helmgard just to keep the Empire off my uh, hide. It's alright. At least until I can upgrade the province. Um, I do have a substantial amount of coin. I'm gonna get quite a bit more now that I'm gonna take Aquitaine. Seeing as the army just got obliterated in the field there. <laughs> yeah, Grom's uh, campaign is an interesting mix. Because on one hand no, you do fight you factions can't. that should beat the shit no, out of you, but... You, they don't. <laughs> I'm just gonna get some goblins for him for global recruitment and orcs. Helmgart is my lot target, so I do need to take it. This army. might end up being the garrison army for uh, Helmgart while Grom is just going to be a bit busy. Alright, so that's a decent amount of coin. Choices, choices. Could save Baston. I won't. We need Helmgart. It's more important. Okay, for her. It teach him right, huh? Yeah, precise. Next turn, Aquitaine is mine. Would have loved to have occupied that right now, but just don't have the movement points. That is actually one of the few pr problems you do have as Greenskins. You do have powerful armies, you do have the Y, etc., etc. You have growth, you have economy, but you don't quite have the movement range that some other factions would have. Which is a bit of an issue. Also, it does feel like there's a bit of a nasty bug with Force March. Or is it just how Greenskins work? And hello, hello, hello. Okay, so... Baston is under siege, as one might expect. I might probably fall. Why does everyone want Grom's head on a pike? He's a peaceful chef. Just leave him be. This is my land. In all seriousness, this is getting a bit ridiculous. I beat the shit out of Orion, by the way, so... The Having to deal with this is a bit absurd. Get how much do I have? I have exactly fifty, so I'm just gonna get an ingredient. Here, 
Public corridor there. Okay. If they attack, they'll take it. For him, I'm gonna get the boys as well. Actually, just seeing as I am gonna get the boys, I'm just gonna get some regular orc archers and some goblin ones to fill it, uh, fill it up. Getting back quenelles is going to be a bit of an issue given its well, location. Okay, one thing I could do is replace him. Yes, I am going to replace him with... Hold on. What rank is he? Seven, nine. Yeah, it would be great, but... Just gonna have to live with it. Gonna give him potion of healing. And that will be it. Goak, say me to battle. The goblin king. Hopefully the empire leaves me the fuck alone. For a moment. Oh man, that Come is on, a bit hilarious, isn't it? Ice. An Imperial army descends on the... There's Karl Franz, I guess. So that's two full stacks. Well, I guess the odds are even. <laughs> Grom's got a plan. Gentlemen, welcome to World War. Seriously? This is getting a bit uh, ridiculous. Yeah. Quinell's is never gonna be under my control again, is it? <laughs> or at least not for the time being, I gotta say. Job for the okay, Aquitaine. Let's lay siege to it. We can take it. This is certainly an interesting one. Gonna need that torque shaman. Shaman. Okay. Um, is an interesting question what I want to do. Go. I'm gonna go there. The world's gonna be drums. Keep moving faster. Do have some scrap so I could. <laughs> so I could avoid running out of money by using it. Never happening. So yeah, next turn. Oh, oh. Don't want to see no soggy bottom. Regardless of what happens here, right now, I'm tempted to go after Kunal's, but just need some money. And if I can fight the battle, like that's the thing, it is a hard start, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's an ex incredibly hard start. This is one of the biggest reasons why I didn't put, uh, put Grom uh, as... 
one of the strongest and easiest lords. Could buff the dwarves with the, the disabled siege attrition for him. Yeah, but the dwarves really need a buff. That is the question. Let's see what these mine. You know, one of the things that genuinely is frustrating to deal with, and this is something that really Nothing buffs. Seriously, is anyone not gonna declare war against me? Oh god. Okay, let's hope we don't run out of money now. It would be unfortunate. But yeah, one of the things that does genuinely frustrate the crap out of me is this. Greenskins, it is better to say something interesting, or I'll curse their host. The guy constantly maneuvers the hell around and avoids a lot of battles. Instead, just frustrates the crap out of you by going for... Like, they will literally do this even if they lose their settlements. <laughs> That's the thing that gets to me. Do not take me for a fool. Alright, Quinnell's... She's at war with Clan Scryer. She's gonna get her ass handed to her by uh, Clan Scryer. Scryer. Okay, decisive victory. Let's get that. Occupy it. Okay, get a level 2. So over here. I may have. <laughs> well, I do have quite a few turns left. I'm gonna have to go after Altdorf soon enough. Well, all I need to do is raise it to the ground, and I certainly have the army to to do that. Did I take Artois? None now. So. Say I'm frustrated, but it doesn't quite encompass you my feelings control. on the matter. Okay, let's deal with that siege. Easy shit. Bardolo is finished. Aquitaine will be stored. It's as if he wants to die. I'm not even joking. Like, I know the outcome of this. This is on very hard battle difficulty, so genuinely I'm taking the maximum amount of casualties by doing this without resolve. And I'm still beating the tar out of him. Let's 
see what options there are. Now, Kemler has declared war against me, so... For reasons. Now, I'm not gonna take that settlement because I just don't have a lot of chances of holding that settlement. I'm tempted to wipe out Kemler. Orc I always distrust orcs that come. I tell you, it is night. Oh, yeah. Okay. By Sigma, no. No, indeed. Over here with him. Um, I'm gonna get Blade uh, Master. Blade Master again. Choppas. Yeah, there is a Force March bug, isn't it? with orcs because sometimes it just doesn't work properly and you can't really switch like if you've used your movement points like if you're playing anyone else really you can swap into force march stance and even after you've used your turn your movement points right because it assumes yeah you have the remaining movement points but if you do it as the orcs and of course he raids Oh boy. I'm not gonna lie. Possibly, yeah, I am a bit frustrated right now, I'm not gonna lie about that. It's just this constant back and fucking forth. It's like, it does get to me. If there is any silver lining, is that uh, retaking all, this set, all these settlements is counting towards my. Oh, yeah, an Allegor. I wonder who's he gonna declare war against. I'll give you a guess. Under Grump's wheels. Another day, another triumph. Got it? Lovely, lovely loot. Divine Benny. Where did he go to? So, start marching armies here. I mean, look, Kamler. Oh crap! Of course, he's there. Hell of a campaign, isn't it? All right, to hell with it. I'm marching everything north, throwing it all keep my holy vow. No! in one big fell swoop. Give her wild eyed. Research wise, uh, get uh, upkeep for gobl goblin infantry and get a shaman. Now, I would love 
if the, if Carl Franz attacked that army, because that entire army, like the only army that isn't disposable is the one that Grom has. So it's like I'm gonna give a shit if the rest of them got wiped out. Unholy Alliance of Carl Franz and Heinrich uh, Kemmler. <laughs> the Vampire Counts Necromancer who worship chaos. That's your al military alliance right there, gentlemen. I will see that you pay for your work. See if anyone is willing to get the peace treaty. Nope. Yes. I am the most powerful, but that makes me a threat to everyone involved. Tell you what, here's what I'm gonna do. It's time to stop dicking around and it's time to start taking names. We got a, uh, we got a Altdorf to take out. Going into the Empire so deeply is not necessarily the wisest move in my arsenal, but it's sure a hell of an effective move. Okay. The Bretonian. The Bretonian Undead Alliance. Hello, damn thing, really. Not likely. I'm gonna have to occupy that settlement, by the way. Yet. What you want? Get one of these boys. Hmm. Yeah, this is something I'm gonna have to fight manually. Because if I don't, he's just gonna march these two armies and absolutely wreck me. Now, if I win this battle, keep those armies alive, deal with Carl Franz. As well, in a decent enough manner, um, then these armies can deal with Helmgard and Karakzef, and while Grom goes deal, to deal with Altdorf. <laughs> what a hell of a thing have I gotten myself into, though? Look at my situation. This is a bit ridiculous. At turn 19. The insane part is that, unlike, say, Katrin, uh, who would not be able to deal with all of this uh, so easily. You can. Like, the fight so far, I've absolutely decimated every single person I've fought so far in in this, uh, in this campaign, battle-wise, right? It's not, it hasn't even been close. Anyway, I do want to take a quick break and then I'll continue.
Send me to battle. Time for a scrap. This action does not have my consent. I will hear your petition, but make no...
sight of mountains? All right, let's uh, let's finally do it. Took a quick break. Had something to drink. Nah, alcohol. I don't drink alcohol. Just some soda. And now let's fight. Three stacks of troops descend on Kemmler. <laughs> should I wipe him? Or should I just sack the settlement? No, I'm gonna wipe him out. Uh, I guess it depends on what he's been. Like, obviously I'll sack the settlement right now because it gives me more income, but then <clears throat> I want to see what his stat actually gives. Because Kemmler is not someone you encounter in a lot of campaigns. And I don't think I've played the Bretonian campaign. Like, if you were playing in the Empire in Warhammer 2... Ooh. Let Bretonia come. Need. In fact, I think that the star pos the position there is actually a good good one for them. The world will come for me. You know who I'm reminded of when I'm playing uh, Grom? I'm, I'm reminded of, of Garrosh Hellscream in the Siege of Agrimar trailer for uh, Mists of Pandaria. Where, where people are like, the whole fucking world is gonna come for you. And it's like, and Garrosh is like, good. That is what I want. That is precisely what I want. These guys are going to do some damage here. They are tired, but they are going to do a job. An important one, even. They're going to clear this side of the settlement. Our voice. 
Alright, one of the things to bear in mind is that their towers are going to be incredibly strong, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I just genuinely don't care anymore. Taken out, towers taken out. Take out the crypt goals. Yeah, that was causing me some issues because for whatever reason my game settings reset. Zombies coming on us. For zombies. Pull these guys back. Let's 
Sprite! Shifting! Yes! 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 The lads are ready! Who can we stab? What? Boys. Goblins! This is gonna be aggressive. Four one shot. Good boys. Shot. Bring it on. Let's get him. Bring it. Keep it. We is gobbers. They go in. What you want? Just battle! Shame. Ready! Moving fast! Run, boys! Moving fast! Wah! Running! Night is here! Shifting! The lads are ready! The lads are ready! He is Charge! Bring the splatter! Our voice! Let's get a voice! We are the great time. Shame. Gonna kill us. Hungry. Moving fast. Running. Let's scrap. Here we go. Boys. Run, boys. Moving fast. Where's the cake? Moving fast. Go, go! More choppers out! Well, goodbye, Kemmler, I would say. They lose some men, but not really too big of a deal. If Carl Franz attacks, eh, it's gonna get nasty. But he would have to go for the choke points. Every 
Yeah, that spell resistance isn't necessarily worth it that much, I feel. Not worth the effort, as in. So the army of Artois was annihilated. Kemmler's army is finished. Here we go. Oof, that is a lot. But I'm thankful that they did actually go for, for him. Be able to defeat three full fucking stacks or two, two stacks. So, what am I gonna do now? Well, I'll take Helmgar back. Hopefully we're all running out of money. This is my land. Gonna be drums. Get me done. Another day, another triumph. Got it? <laughs> Under drums, wheels. I'll crush them all. Cork, send me to bow. <laughs> Get going. <laughs> Gork and Mork want some dead! They're dead meat! I'd win if I had to resolve this, but of course I'd uh, lose a fairly significant amount of men. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fight... Uh, without controlling large armies, so that the, in the units will come in individually, right? Uh, that way... I can deal with the reinforcements. It is a bit insane when you think about how many units you do fight, but what's equally insane is they're winning. You know, like, you win. Like, it's not even a question. I am winning. Sure, my economy is in tatters, my armies are pushed to the brink, 
I lose one battle uh, like this and it's well not quite over I guess because they do have other enemies to deal with it's not like they can just ma march on the massive oracle and yeah wipe me out and besides by the time they actually reach there I'd have a full stack raid waiting for them with uh, garrison as well okay, so he's going to spawn right behind me This is it. I'm the boss. Now it's quite very likely. Not likely. It is going to happen that a number of those reinforcements are going to spawn there. That's a fine situation, I feel. Please come out. Let me just speed it up. That's all they have, then yeah, if I can don't summon shit. Save that for later.
One thing to know, the Kerberg uh, greatswords cannot be broken. So I'm gonna have to kill them there. Alright, I'm gonna move these fellows. Right here. Just some pistoliers. The job here is done, more or less. Gonna keep these guys on this side. Try and wipe out as much of the enemy as I can. Ready! 
My army has suffered fairly insubstantial uh, casualties as well. I pull these guys a bit back, get them then in position again. Let those enemy reinforcements come because they don't really matter. Oh, they are starting to become something of a nuisance, so I'm gonna have to reposition some of my units here. Alright, that's uh, finished. So I lost 500 men, but I do still have an entire army there that wasn't committed to this fight. And, well, <laughs> I've killed Karl Franz, I've killed pretty much, well, over half his armies. Like, let's say two for. Eventually what routed them was the armly losses, like just too many of them were dead. Trolls recovered quite nicely. I'm gonna occupy Lovely, lovely loot. The time. 
Let's get stabby. No, no. You're the boss. Bone for war. Say what you want. Ready. From the pouch. Alright, I only got a couple more turns until uh, I uh, fail the wa. so let's get to it. I'm gonna get Looter for him. Two points for him. Let's get Fist Butt, uh, Ed Butt and Fist of Gork, Evasion. And obviously we do want the Foot of Gork, Gork uh, over there. Finally upgrade Helm Guard to rank 2. I'm going to dismantle that structure. This, uh, may not. Okay, I'm not going to construct that because one, I don't have the money. Two, I'm not sure if I can hold this. Up. So all I need to do is raise out Dorf. That's all I need to do. And I got my trophy. I dare hold on to this region? No. The reason I'm not going to hold on to it is simply due to the fact that if I try to, it's not going to go so well. Later? Yeah, sure. For now, other priorities take precedence. I'm gonna construct that. Grom, grom, grom. The widest. For him, Luther. The evasion. No. I 
To be fair, I think I'll hold Altdorf for a bit, for a couple of turns, just uh, to claim the trophy, if you will. Armies descend on me. Who called? Alright, sacking Altdorf will give me an enormous amount of coin. Karlberg is also burned to the ground. Thank Azrak for that. You know what I've really done here in this campaign by taking on the Empire as I have? I've just given free reign to Kazrak. Okay. Well, she shows up with a full fucking stack. What's gonna happen? is inevitable. But yeah, I'm hoping that by uh, taking Aldorf I'll solve my financial issues for a while. Alright. The garrison there is just not good enough. I was rather hoping not to have to do this. This is my land. This land. Because it is a waste of time. An enormous waste of time. There's the time. The boys are pleased. I like it. Okay, he's gonna get the boys. He's gonna get training. He's gonna get uh, scavenge. And now we get to deal with Altdorf. 
If Grom can deal with it on its own, I'm just gonna start moving that army back already. Yeah, I can. And there's your financial issues dealt with, I guess. Problem is... Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna destroy this army and then get the fuck out. We gotta take back Quinnells. Though, to be fair, do I? <laughs> That's the thing. Alright, 20k uh, financial situation. How many turns? Three turns there until that's... Let's get survivalist. I do have some scrap, so these guys... No, I'm not even gonna waste my scrap anymore on these guys. Um, let's just get choppers. It's for him, the foot of Gork. But yeah, unfortunate turn of events there, but couldn't be controlled. This army is gonna march on Artois. Great stabilization. I might have to disband one of these military forces, but we shall see. Can get some fanatics. I will get some fanatics. Alright, another catapult <laughs> regiment of renown this time. And just occupy outdoor for a couple of turns. I could hold it. I don't know. Would striking against Marienburg from two friends be really worth it? Potentially. <laughs> Same time, the problem with the region. Oh, by all means, the clear fucking war. Ooh. I am up ship green. Issue is, it's just not um, a particularly defensible region to to have. But it doesn't. You know what the hilarious part is in all of this? The hilarious part... Genuinely... Is that I'm fighting all of this in regions that are not exactly suited for greens can control. Because they're temperate. And so I have minus one control higher construction costs in each region. Let's just read it. We 
Alright, the WA has been successful, gentlemen. With her, let's get the purple sun. Some weapon strength. Dead heart. Ah! All right, Gurenburg is the last region that the Reichland has. They Karl Franz out. And then take Castle Artois as well. For a few turns that I still have those armies available. <laughs> oh, Musalon. Oh, shit. Ain't gonna be good. Alright, so I really need to deal with the Empire, get the ground the hell out of here. I well, that's the mighty Reichland for you. Oh, okay. Whether chivalrous or not, I will strike you down, scum, if your words displease me. No, I don't think. No, I need to get the hell out of here. I, I just can't continuously lose regions. We need to establish some kind of front line over here. Helmgard should be fine, but maybe it would be worth investing that. Then again, we are up against Wood Elves, so... All right, the Wa army is finished. Dopey nature, that dopey benefits that I got to not resolve are over. But I'm gonna retake Aquitaine and Quinelles and get Grom to beat the shit out of Artois, I think, and Musulon. Or likely Musulon. Take him out. 
Maybe get to deal with Bretonia so they leave me the hell alone for a while. I just need a couple of turns where I'm not feeling like I'm under the threat of Armageddon, if you will. Well, I guess who's getting wiped out next turn? I expected that. That's fine. Alright, so there's Durfo. gonna do that right now so what I'll do is deal with Carcassonne and then start uh, marching on the wood elves Control might be a bit of a temporary issue until I can get that uh, meter back up to full. I'm also quite unlikely going to lose some settlements to this master. All right, number one. Let me cancel that, upgrade this instead. Get that. Baston should be able to handle it, especially I think this army I should probably send towards Musalon. Alright, let's get growth and public order. Grom is gonna need his own shaman, so we have one with frenzy. Let's go. With that. I don't know if he could take one part. Oh, let me just disable it. After that, I honestly don't care if there is a rebellion. This region? It's outlived its usefulness. Can I beat two stacks of wood elves though? Ugh, what have I gotten myself into here? Well, apparently Dorfo doesn't feel he can beat two stack, uh, a single stack of my units. Though that probably makes sense, that resolve isn't necessarily the kindest to the wood elves. Despite the fact that their armies just completely decimate. Though things have been changed in some way. Watch 
you want. Another day, another triumph. Got it? I mean, if the garrison is so goddamn strong, why the hell didn't he attack? This specific army will go for the settlement over here. We're gonna upgrade that. No, you know, I'm not gonna upgrade Quinelves until I'm, I've got some goddamn certainty that it's not gonna fall. I'll use my siege engines to target their glade guard, and I'll use my um, melee units to deal with the dryads. That's not going to be the problem. The dryads are not really too big of an issue. It's just going to be the glade guards and the tree kin over here. Durfo, as well, is not necessarily the easiest guy to kill in the world. So. Let's Worth remembering. So that's the max range of the Glade Guard. Likely going to have to engage in melee here just because of their stock ability. Like, I, I just can't see them. Sends. 
Yep. Lighting their through is the nightmare I assumed it would be. So what kind of solution is there to this uh, particular problem? Well, I'm afraid I don't really have any run, maybe. Okay, what else, an army? I'll need to think on this. No, specifically, actually, not even the Wood Elven Army. It's the specific Tree Men Army. I think the only option that makes sense at any rate so I'm gonna stop uh, right here I think I'll probably have uh, I'll redo this battle um, but I think the only option that makes sense when you're dealing with Durfu is to well, I, I could either settle in a long siege, or I could try and snipe him in some way, shape, or form. Save maybe, like maybe just push on a single lane, take the casualties that will happen, push a push of big guns, push of my army, um, and that might be enough. Anyway, Questine here signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, enable notifications. Stay tuned for more.